why are you here? I'm here because too many people are dependent on the ACA to just drop it. Um, we need to replace it, not repeal it, or keep it. And there are several people here with me today who have uh, life-threatening problems that uh, they're only able to address through ACA. And uh, pre-existing conditions are a real problem for these folks if ACA ah! Healed. So, so I'm here to support others and to support my own children who are dependent on APA, ACA, and uh, I'm also here to find uh, local Democrats because we're going to start building the party from the ground up. Have you been uh, active in the in the party? For... I'm the municipal chair for Clinton Township Democratic Committee. Okay, and your your name, please. Laura Shaw. Laura. So you've been involved lo in local politics for, for a while. After the election, I decided that's what I was going to do because Barack Obama said the way to succeed is to build the party from the ground up. And so since then, that's what I've spent probably six hours a day doing. So you're relatively new to. I'm very new. And it was this election that got me going into politics. And I think the local level is where I can make the biggest impact. So that's where I decided to focus. That's excellent. And I'm not alone. Everybody I call says, I want to do something. I'm not sure what to do. So some people are protesting. Some people are getting involved with local government. Some people are writing their senators. Everybody's, everybody's doing something. So what advice would you give them, those people that don't know what to do? What's the? F I would say there are three things you should do. Find something to lead, find something to follow, and change a habit. For me, I decided to lead in local government. I decided to follow with these protests. They're being led by others. And I'm changing a habit, which is to make sure that the news that I watch is always real news. No alternative facts, no Fox News, the real deal. So it took a real... Uh it, it took a real shake-up for you because 10 years ago you wouldn't have done this. That's absolutely right. 10 years ago you would have driven by these guys. Maybe, I probably would have waved and honked my may, horn. Yeah, maybe sympathetic, but... That's right. Uh, what, so you had... 10 years ago you had a trust that the system was working? Is that what broke down? Yes, and I was very busy mm -hmm. with... Uh, my kids, my full-time job, things like that, and things were generally okay. But what I'm seeing now is not okay. And um, my family has changed. I have uh, an African, an African son-in-law, who's been the victim of racism, and that doesn't seem to concern the current administration. Um, I have Jewish grandchildren. I'm very concerned about them with all the uh, anti-Semitic. Uh, stuff that's going on and allowed to go on in this country. I'm worried about the military, I'm worried about the Russians, the list just goes on and on. And I don't think the current administration and even Leonard Lance is worried about these things.